Hi Shimmy Shakers and welcome to our Hip Drops workout tutorial. This is perfect for you if you are brand new to belly dancing and want to learn a really fun move or if you've been belly dancing for a little while and you really want to practice your hip drops. Our hip drops a really beautiful move and today I'm going to go through the basics we're going to drill through and then we're going to come to a more advanced combination to the end so start at the beginning work all the way through as you can and let's see if we can make it all the way through to the finish okay let's start warming up just bringing your hip to one side then the other loosening up three hips all the way through good and then nice big hip circles around So we're going to have a lot of fun today. Other way, I know a lot of my students who are either Egyptian or Lebanese have to dance at weddings. They really love this move because you can do it with any music to really capture the beat. Reaching up, feeling it through here. It looks beautiful. And there are many variations too. And then reaching forward, feeling it through the side of your back. Good. Now let's work with our feet, stepping to the side. Step, 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 touch. Step, 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 touch. Step, 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 touch. Step, 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 good. Good. Okay, coming into our basics now. So feet hip width apart, pelvis tucked in, chest up. You can keep your hands out of the way on your hips or in our classical position. Bringing one foot in front, so you want it about a foot in front from the other foot. We lift up, get nice work through our core and drop down. So as we lift, my knee lifts, my heel lifts, and then I drop. Knee and heel lift, good. And drop. Knee and heel lift. Hold strong through your core. Good. Other side, nice and slow. Up and drop. Good. See how my knee and heel lifts and drop. Make sure you're not leaning side to side as you lift. You want to feel it through here, get those rolls through your stomach. Good. So if you're not getting the rolls through the stomach, it might be because you're leaning to the side. You want to try and keep your body nice and upright. We're going to speed it up now. Good. Remember to lift, keep your posture up tall. If you're worried about your hands, you can bring them to your hips or out into basic position. And other side. Good. Make sure you're lifting straight up. So it's not twist forward or back, straight up. Good. Beautiful. Other side, we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and change. Eight, seven, six. Watch my feet as I change. Step and change. Good. And change. Using through your core. Keep your posture tall. Good work, shake it out. Okay, this time we are adding into our combination. First move in our combination, we've got one, two. For the next two, we have one up, one drop, one up, one release. So when you're doing the release, it's not a big kick out, it's just a little release of the foot. As you release the foot, you'll notice my knee doesn't really move. It's just the foot coming forward. So you can call this a drop and release. And remember, even when you release the foot, we're still releasing the hip or dropping the hip. So it's up, drop, up, drop and release. Up, drop, up, drop and release. Up, drop, up, drop and release. Let's start with our basic. Good. Add the release. Drop, release, drop, release, drop, release, drop, release. Good work. You might feel it working a little bit through your opposite hip as well, as it stabilizes you to keep you standing up tall. Other side, basic drop first. Good, work through here. Trying to get those rolls through your stomach every time. Drop and release. Good. Good. Remember accent on the down. 
Drop and release other side. Drop, release, drop, release, drop, release. And change. So same way with the change. Keep going, I'll show you the feet. And change. Two more. And change. Good. You can add a little arm workout as well by keeping your arms strong. And change. And shake it out, nice work. Okay, next one's a little bit harder. So this is more of an advanced move, but a really fun one as well. Every second one now, we're gonna lift the knee up and then drop. So this one, it's more kind of a shabby style, whereas the other ones can be for a lot of different styles of belly dance. Lift the hip up, drop the knee. Lift up, drop. So for this one, we're gonna do every second. Up, drop, up, drop. Up, drop, up, and drop. Up, drop, up, knee. Really using that supporting leg to keep you nice and steady. Engaging through your hips, through your core. Okay, other side. Shake it out. Nice and slow. Up, drop, up, drop and knee. Up, drop, up, drop and knee. Up, remember to drop as you lift the knee so you can see the hip is still coming down. Good, good. A little faster. Good. Okay, shake it out. Nice work. We've got one more to learn for our combo and that is a little sweep. So this is more from, I guess, like Lebanese style dancing, you could say, but also it's a fun belly dance move. As you come into the sweep, we bring our foot forward and then back. So it's like a, a horse coming over. We drop and then sweep. So as you drop, it's still with our normal hip drop. And then as you sweep, all you're doing is bringing your foot from the front to the back. If you're practicing right now with runners, you might find this one a little hard. You can do the knee again instead, or you can do the basic one instead. Otherwise, let's have a go. Drop, drop and sweep. 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 Drop. Drop and sweep, shake it out. Let's try the other side. Drop, drop and sweep. Now really be aware of your foot placement. You want the foot, remember, to land in front. You can hear my shoes sweeping against the floor. And shake it out. Okay, we are now gonna bring it all into our combination. We'll start really slow and then build it up. So try and stick with me. Let me know in the comments, are you still with me? Have you got it? Love to hear from you. Okay, so nice and slow, I'm gonna walk you through the combination. It's eight counts, eight, <laughs> with our different hip drops. So nice and slow. Remember, you can keep your hands out of the way. We come up, drop, up, drop, up, drop, up, Release, up, drop, up, knee, up, drop, up, and sweep. So the first two are just basic drops. The second two is a drop and then a release. The third one, a drop and then a knee. The fourth one, a drop and then a sweep. Let's go, bring it together. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Up, drop, up, drop, up, drop, up, release, up, drop, up, knee, up, drop, up, sweep again, up, drop, up, drop, up, drop, up, release, up, drop, up, knee, up, drop, up, sweep, up, drop, up, drop, up, drop, up, release, up, drop, up, knee, up, drop, up, sweep. Yeah, shake it out, awesome work. Okay, let's try the other side and then we're gonna go a little faster. Up, drop, up, drop, up, drop, up, release. Up, drop, up, knee, up, drop, up, sweep. Up, drop, up, drop, up, drop, up, release. Up, drop, up, knee, up, drop, up, sweep. Up, drop, up, drop, up, 
drop, up, release, up, drop, up, B, up, drop, up and sleep. Okay, let's go together a little faster. I'm not gonna talk, just listen to your music, try and catch the beats. And shake it out, awesome work. Let's try the other side. Yeah, awesome job, shimmy shakers. Let's just have a little stretch reaching through. So if you found this one hard, if you found especially the more advanced ones difficult, don't worry, it takes time. You will get them the more you practice. Coming down, just releasing through your legs, releasing through your hips. And coming up.